I did not feel like I was valued at the hospital that I was at. And I love humans. I don't care what you look like. I don't care where you practice. I care a lot because I value who you are and what makes you who you are. I did like a residency and um, I did the best that I could with the places that I was at. I was at a you know good hospital. I learned a lot. I asked lots of questions. I even you know, I, I was a neuro med surge nurse first, and then I went to labor and delivery, which is where I always wanted to be. And then I even cross-trained a little bit in the NICU because I had questions and I was curious and, and they loved that I wanted to be involved. And sometimes you want to know where these little babies are going, you know? I was spending like 60 hours a week at work because COVID and I was picking up extra. But you're spending 40 to 60 hours somewhere. Be somewhere you're valued. Like you are replaceable, no matter how great you are. And you deserve to be somewhere that when you walk into work, you're excited. My patience is what really made my experience. And I was like, there's great people everywhere. There's great patients everywhere. I can do this. And I was like, and there could be a place that like, I actually feel valued. And I met a traveler and she actually stayed with me and she told me all about it. I never knew that that was a thing. Once I got my experience, I went and I was so grateful I did. You feel like you have more control and there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Like, you're only there for three months and then you get to go to new places and you get to meet new people and, and so sometimes it's really hard to say goodbye and then sometimes you're just like, I came in, I did a job, I had an experience, you know, like I wish this unit the best. Like you don't have to be in the unit meetings, you don't have to be in the politics, you don't have to be in kind of the stuff that like gums down why you became a nurse. Like I just, I'm here to heal and be a part of a team and, and take care of patients and meet them in their most vulnerable states and hopefully limit or completely like eliminate the trauma that can happen in healthcare. And it's really cool because I've been in new places and there has been patients that I knew I was supposed to be there for because of my experiences and like uh, assignment switch ups that I felt like were very specific to me that like it was just a universal alignment and I felt like there, it was really cool to then kind of get that confirmation like you're meant to travel like you're meant to move you're meant to be in this place and that doesn't mean you know you might not be everyone's like cup of tea or you might not feel like you're fully like at home somewhere but your patience which is one of the only things that matter like there's a reason you're here to be with them I wonder if they realize how much of an impact they have on me and like how much I think of them and so yeah, no, I, I just knew that there was more than what I was doing as a staff nurse. And I believe in loyalty and I understand like you can make a place a home, but you need to be where you feel valued. And our job is stressful enough. And, and if you feel like, you know, you have a message to share and a light to, you know, give. And I've met some really beautiful nurses that have done really beautiful work and nurses, we, you know, it's not about the prize. It's not definitely not about the money. Even though travel nursing is more lucrative, it is still for what we do and how big of an impact we can have. I mean, there's not enough that I can say about how important it is to be a nurse and, and to take that very seriously.